Are you searching for a compelling speaker who can help your employees empower positive changes in their company? Then meet Stu Taylor. He who speaks first when you're negotiating is generally the loser. We always hear time is money. Time isn't money. If you don't spend it today, it's gone forever. Most people are time efficient. They've got a bus to catch. They've got to be at a certain affair. They have to meet somebody. And suddenly an opportunity comes along to make money. Yeah, I can't do it. Because I have to be somewhere at a specific time. The people who are truly successful are those who are time effective. And take their schedule and rework it in order to take advantage of the opportunity at hand. Yesterday's horse race results don't do you any good today. Thomas Edison once said, opportunity is difficult to spot because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Stu is a true renaissance man whose track record as a businessman, professional broadcaster, and author assisted in modifying and shaping the behavior of thousands of people. Who do you think was the first one here tonight? Me. There was nobody here. They didn't even want to let me in. And just like today, I was the first one there. I was invited to the cocktail party, 5.30 to 6.30. Instead of being there at 5.30, I was there at a quarter of five before the people at the table were registering you. And you know how we are at networking meetings. We don't want to come on too strong. You know, there's always the, the feeling that you're going to turn someone off. But there I stood away from the table. I let them register before I attacked. I let them register, went over, introduced myself, stated what it is that I did, and then very carefully listened to what they did, exchanged business cards, and went on to the next person. I saw other people there that night trying to network. Everybody's there at the same time. It's called stimulus bombardment. You don't know what to do. You don't know who to go to. And half the time, nobody can listen to what you're saying. Get there early. I got every single person that came in, and I left at 6.30 under relaxed conditions without being stressed. So those opportunities are out there in the most difficult times. But no matter what you're doing, do it with the idea that you're going to cultivate relationships with other people, help other people, raise your own individual achievement bar, his vast experience impacts people by emphasizing the need to be proactive and consistently goal-directed in a rapidly changing, fast-paced world where information grows exponentially. You've got business cards. Many people go out, they collect business cards. They come back and they say, this was great, a lot of leads, and they don't follow up on the business cards. And they don't correspond, they don't call up, they don't fax. You've got to go through the complete process to do it. And most of all, You've got to create a situation where you can put yourself in a position to do things for other people. It'll come back because the best form of advertising, aside from my radio shows, see I'm doing it right now, the best form of advertising is word of mouth. If somebody can't come back to do something and to reciprocate, you know what they'll do? They'll go to somebody else and say, you know something? Jack's a great guy. You should do business with him. I can't. It works all the time. I get up very early in the morning. And I'm always on the internet doing the kinds of things that I don't want to waste time doing during the day. So many people do paperwork or do things during the day without interacting or interfacing with people and creating opportunities. And it's amazing the number of opportunities you can create because if you cultivate that network of people, each of us has a sphere of at least 250 people in our sphere. The big thing is in today's world where careers change, modes change, business paradigms change, that you might end up with opportunities well outside your own career that will enhance what it is you're doing. So create those opportunities. Fax, email, use the internet. Stu Taylor's passion and sincerity translates immediately to audiences. He has mesmerized groups wherever he has spoken with refreshing candor and the ability to address the issues on a level people can identify with. The only lie that will ever net you a dollar is the lie you don't tell. Back when I was looking for national distributorship, Saturday Night Fever became available. They flew me to New York. I saw the first uncut, unedited version of, the, of Saturday Night Fever with the Bee Gees. My head was swimming. All I could think about was, God, I can't believe it. This is too good to be true. Networking and branding. Went to lunch with the principals, entertained them for 25 minutes. My salesman out of New York, Jim Lay, who brought me there, he was getting a 2% override. I said, let's go to the men's room. I said, you're getting a 2% override for everything I sell in New England. How would you like a 2% override for the United States? Went back, before I knew it, they said, can you cover the country? I said, it'll be done. Didn't have cell phones back then, but called my office. I said, Cecile, find out all the rep representative firms around the country that are compatible with the line we have, the top lines. She located them, got back to my office, traveled around the country, 12 cities in five days, presentations at airports, and most of the people said, 
since I had other products that anybody could get that were quite generic, we'll take Saturday Night Fever. And I said, not necessarily in the true sense of networking, take the whole thing or nothing. Stu Taylor's topics include Carpe Dio, seizing the opportunity in business, image building, keys to success in a knowledge-based world, I, the product, a non-traditional approach to marketing and self-promotion, how to turn trends into fortunes, and broadcasting in the media, the power of perception. He is the author of How to Turn Trends into Fortunes Without Getting Left in the Dust and has worked with many celebrities and sports stars. No, I thought uh, Stu's presentation was engaging. I thought he made some very salutable points based on his history and being creative about networking events. And I think that'll be useful to what I'm doing in terms of how I'm building out my channel for the company and our ongoing success. It's practical, hands-on, and it just makes you know, day-to-day -day sense, and it, it helps small business as well as maybe bigger business get a different perspective on things. It was awesome. Uh, I've heard a number of uh, networking uh, speakers before, and by far, it was all about relationships and doing, doing for others rather than yourself. Seeing Stu on a number of occasions, every time that I hear one of his talks, I take something away that, that I can personally turn into money. Get results for your organization from someone who has translated his success to thousands. Contact Stu Taylor at 1-800-252-1022 or check out his website at www.stutaylor.com.